Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 4, Problem Set. Let's take a look at number 1. Find the opposite of each number and describe its location on the number line. So I'm going to take a look at A. And I'll draw this one out for you to start. You don't have to draw it, but it's nice to get a good visual for the first one. So I'm looking for negative 5. I know that that's 1, 2, 3, 4 five jumps away from zero. So that's where my negative five is. That's my start. That's that's where my number is. Now I know that the opposite means the same distance from zero on a number line in the opposite direction. And that's not your technical definition. But it's a good definition to go for from the start. So to find the opposite of this, I know that if I jumped 5 to the left, I'm now going to jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. And I'm going to keep in mind the scale that I currently have, which is just 1. So my opposite of negative 5 is 5. Now if I have to describe its location on the number line, it's going to be 5 jumps to the right of 0 because my initial number was 5 jumps to the left. We'll take a look at one more. D. It's 15. Positive 15. And I know on a number line that's going to be 15 jumps to the right of 0. And I'll put that in right there, so that's 0. So my opposite is going to be 0, and it's going to be 15 jumps to the left. So that means it's going to fall at negative 15. And when you describe this location, very similar to A. Where is the location of the opposite? It's 15 jumps to the left of 0. So let's take a look now at another question. Uh, a couple parts here that we're going to look at in 2. Write the opposite number of each and label the points on a number line. So we've got the number line down below. I'm going to do A, point A, the opposite of 9. If I look on my number line, I can find 9 right there. And now I'm going to jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It was 9 jumps away from 0. So in order to find the opposite, I jumped 9 the other direction, the other way of 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's point A right there. It's the opposite of 9. And you're going to notice something interesting about those numbers. I have positive 9 and negative 9. Same absolute value, but different sides of 0. And you'll be talking about absolute value uh, in your classrooms. So looking at C, we have the opposite of negative 7. So I'll do this one uh, in two different colors. I'll start with black. There's my starting number, so I'm looking at negative 7. I know I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 7 jumps away. So I'm going to start at 0 and do 7 the other direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's right here. And that's C because it's positive 7. It's 7 jumps away from 0 in the opposite direction. Moving on, let's take a look at 3B uh, I'll look at specifically, but I need to read the directions first. Study the first example. Write the integer that represents the opposite of each real-world situation. In words, write the meaning of the opposite. So I'll take a look at B. A deposit of 25. So if I deposit 25, the integer is 25, so I need to write the integer that represents its opposite, so it's really a negative 
25 because that's the opposite. A deposit goes in and makes your account go higher. The opposite of a positive 25 is a negative 25. And now, in words, write the meaning of the opposite. So now, in word form, the meaning of the opposite is a debit of 25 because a debit means we're taking the money out. Moving on to the very last question, <clears throat> number five, and I see I still got my definition up here at the top of uh, what the opposite is. That helps me out as I go. On a number line, locate and label 40 degrees Celsius below zero and 40 degrees Celsius above zero. What does zero represent in this situation? Now, when I number this, I see I have five, and I know immediately one number has to be in there, and that's zero. And now I have two to the right and two to the left, so i got to break this 40 above and 40 below into two tick marks. I know I'm going to be counting by 20. So I have 20 and 40. And then if I'm moving to the left of zero, I know that that's going to be a negative 20 and a negative 40. So I'll label my first um, number, and that's uh, 40 below zero. And I'll just write it, 40 degrees below. And then this one's going to be 40 degrees above. So the question now states, what does zero represent in the situation? And zero equals zero degrees Celsius because we're talking about the temperature here. I hope this helps and good luck on your homework.